hello guys and welcome to another video today on mindset hustle this is your boy moses known as prof all right so in today's video we are going to continue with our boom and crash lesson where today we are going to look at the analysis itself all right how to run the analysis on your boom and crash assets all right so in the previous lessons i talk about market structure we look at the demonstrations we look at the concepts behind market structure then i talked about what the weak points and the odds and the strong points in the part three of this particular series and in this part four we are going to look at what we call the key levels to trade from okay so we'll be looking at the key levels to trade your boom and crash from on the daily h4 and co all right so before i dive into today's lesson as usual guys let me remove this plug out of the way if you are new to mindset hustle don't forget to smash the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification icon if this is your first time here and even if you are an old uh, follower but then have not subscribed yet what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and don't forget most important one turn on the notification icon so that when we release a new video you'll be notified that mindset hustle has released a new video also if you are gaining knowledge and information from all these videos that we are providing for you on this channel just leave us a like on the video share this video with your friends and your community let them also get this knowledge that you are here for today guys if you are not on my telegram group i'll leave the link in the description of the video do join the telegram group i do leave analysis over there especially those of you who are interested in crypto trading and co i give a lot of information on crypto trading on my telegram group and i put analysis also there so do well to join the free telegram group link will be in the description of this video all right guys let's get into today's video so as i said last time we did market structure and we looked at the weak points and the strong points in the market okay so for instance this is um uh, crash 500 and i analyzed crash 500 i used crash 500 for most of the lessons that we did during the previous uh, uh lessons in the series and if you remembered i told you guys during that lesson uh that by then crash 500 was here and i told you guys that this level here this daily level here okay this level was or not daily okay, if you remembered and i was like we have an h4 supply we have an h4 supply right here so i'll be expecting that price will hold during that period and come back down into this zone okay if you remember it very well let me take this uh, ticks off uh, from here okay if you remember it very well and that time we saw price came into this zone and smashed back into the daily after that took out this level of uh, liquidity okay there's something in the forest market we call liquidity liquidity is just fuel for the uh for price to move the market okay and here we see that price took out this guy and we know that anytime price took out a high or you know there should be a pullback now because price broke back this level okay this low on h4 it means h4 is still uh bearish because if we were to maintain a low above this guy and reach this high here again that would have given us what, a confirmation that c500 is becoming not bullish though i'm expecting it to change into a bullish uh trend very soon because the last daily low 
has been taken has been taken here and that level we call it a previous or an old days um how i say it an old days low okay uh, forget about all these those were um, trades i took on this account some time ago let me just delete those trade levels so that you can see the chart all right so as i was saying this level has been taken out so i'm just doing quick um some quick overview of this particular asset before i come to today's topic for those of you who are interested in trading it so as you can see this week here took out this guy okay so when that happened we we call it sweeping of liquidity okay some people call it total soup method okay so here i'll be looking out for a total soup long where will i be looking at it for people took their buys here and price took them out okay they were taken out because they became part of what the liquidity all right i know a lot of, uh, a lot of you know understand what i mean by liquidity but i'll advise you to use some time to research around liquidity maybe in a later video after the series i might do a short lesson on liquidity if you want me to do a short lesson on liquidity leave me a comment in the comment section telling me that yes give us a lesson on liquidity and i'll be glad to do that okay so i'm waiting for your comments to confirm that yes you really need this liquidity video and i will do it for you all right so here i'll be looking out for buy areas from this week okay see this week here over here all right just came to wipe liquidity this is why you can see the body closed above so when this happened we call it what we call it sweeping of liquidity and therefore i'll be looking for the best buying zone that will take this market up within this area here on the lower time frame because if you go into the lower time frame you break it down you see that so let's go to h4 you can see so here you can see on h4 this is how that week looks like and you can see here that h4 has also produced this week which if we go on to the lower time frame we can see some demand zones over there just as i said so on the h1 you can see this area is what an area of demand which i can expect price to come here and go up because i expect price to take out this highs which has not yet been taken out on the daily uh, on the h1 which means h1 is still bearish just like h4 is still bearish and daily are all bearish once we take out this guy this is not a break of structure because here we don't have a body close remember when we we're doing market structure i told you for us to get out a breakout we need a body candle body close above the previous side which we don't have this a week so it's just taking off liquidity of this equal highs over here so here i'll be expecting price to drop back into either this zone once this zone is broken because as you can see already price is breaking through that zone and we have a very huge uh imbalance in this area or inefficiency in this area what caused the inefficiency is this zone so i will be expecting that as price spikes down here there should be at least a buy to about the um, 50 50 percent level okay so if price doesn't stop at the 50 percent level of this fee and we go back up then i'll be expecting price to come down into our zone which is my preferable uh, assumption and then afterwards if we don't get a massive buy at least we should have a buy to this 50 percent level before even if it will drop lower it drops but this this video is not about deeper analysis on this pair if you want more um in-depth analysis on this you can join my free telegram group and also if you need a uh, full training in the forest industry you can join the captain's mastery course and have the full knowledge on how to trade all these assets for a very very low fee all right 
guys let's come back to uh, the actual thing let me delete all these guys okay delete all these stuffs yeah with all these guys here yeah. so before i come here let me just show you crash 500 as you can see i have been milking this guy up down up down throughout the entire week okay you can see here i've been milking this guy up down uh, this was my cell then i took this buy i got out here but then as you can see it reversed in this zone i got out here because of this area here i know price surely react but then it went through easily okay then i took another cell here and ride it to this area before this buy and as you can see price is still fell to this low well after price broke i took another entry here and went out here i never took this guy here all right and the buy as i said in this area which price is right now breaks I'm looking at this area for price to go back up so that is that's just a very quick overlook of C500 now let's come back to the business of the day okay let's come back to the business of the day so now as I said today we'll be looking at the key levels okay we'll be looking at what I call the key levels in trading boom and crash you see a lot of people just call boom, uh, boom and crash and go you know it's very dangerous especially when you are looking to catch spikes but then if you want to hold them over a period of time like i do over here where i can hold a spike the all this way down and here also you can see i hold this spike all the way down and i hold this by by all the way up there without fear why because i'm able to what, locate key levels in the market all right so i'm going to show you in this video how to also locate these key levels but guys if this is your first time here on mindset hustle do well to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon and share this video and like this video as well if you have anything leave us a comment in the comment section now when it comes to trading boom and crash there is only one broker in the entire universe that does that okay and this broker is called Deriv. I'll leave the official link to Deriv in the description of this video. Do well, just uh, hit on the link and register with them and trade if this is the first time you are coming across this asset. All right, let's move on. So, what I do when I want to look for key levels on these guys is first I'll look at for my market structure as usual. You guys know how we do it. We are still bearish per um, our structure. Why am I saying so? Because already we've broken the previous structure here. This guy has broken that. And this, as I told you, the strong point, this strong point has been respected and is still in that hasn't broken out yet. So what do we see? See price coming down. Now we are looking to take out this low for us to be sure that we are still going to go down so per our h1 or h4 and co we are still hot we are still in hot in a bearish momentum okay and if you come to the daily we are still in hot a bearish momentum why because this high has still not been hot this high here has still not been taken out yet all right but then the low here has been taken out this low has been has been taken out so that alone confirms that uh even the low has not been taken out yet because this is just a liquidity wipe body of candle has not been not close here so we will still we are still waiting for price to break and close the body of the candle below once that happened then we know that we have taken out that low as well but as it stands now high has been respected but low has not yet been broken but still we are in hot we are in a downtrend overall if you can, you can see from here we are in hot we are in a downtrend overall because price keeps respecting um the trend line downwards now to do what we are looking at today we need to go to the daily time frame after checking our trend and we know it's it's bearish we go to, uh, to the daily time frame which we are already on 
then we change from candlesticks to what line chart okay as you can see over here click on that so this is the line chart the reason why i like the line chart is there are no weeks it doesn't show the weak levels it only show where the body of the candles close and make a turn around why am i saying this because i don't like using the weeks to draw my key levels they are areas of manipulation and i don't like manipulation i want to go with price okay so i always like where price begins or closes from to be marked as my key level All right now if you look at this this is where price currently is okay so we are going to look between this and this okay for our two main key level so this is my one key level number one key level um and this will be my number two key level then you double click that to lock it let me make the upper one um, blue all right so guys don't skip this video as you can see i'm going step by step so if you skip the video you miss out on something that i might say that will be very profitable to you now after marking these key levels on daily time frame what are we are going to do is we are going to change to normally i like to change to h6 okay but if you don't like h6 you just change to what h4 now in h6 i'm going to mark the key levels in h6 as well so let me change i'm coming let me just change the color for the six h6 to pink all right so i know so this always mark price close uh, mark the levels close to price so this is where the current price is this then uh closes or uh, lower point and where is our and we are doing these things within the daily or within the daily range and just beneath or above the daily range will not go further than that and this is the key level i'll be looking at over here on h6 as well as well as this level where price flipped this guy so i love this flip level so either you take this flip level or you take this flip level it depends on you so this is a very good flip level you flip down flip up and then flip down again so i think this is a very key level good key level but then you can as well take this level all right so as you can see we have how many key levels in h6 within the eight uh, within the daily I have one two three four four over oh, right, yeah, here this is the fourth one now since h6 okay price is close to h6 is key level all we are looking out for is to buy from that key level okay we buy from the key levels down and we sell uh, we buy and then we take profit at the next key level so if we enter market here we are looking to take uh, our profit here and let's say if price comes and retest this guy we are looking to sell to this key level right that's how we use the key levels if price breaks above we buy to this key level all right guys this is how simple it is now once you do this you don't just leave it there either you go to h4 or you go to h2 now if i use h6 i know i like to come to h3 that is half h6 okay that is what, that is half h6 sometimes you can do h12 after daily but it's too it's too close to daily so i normally use h6 so that i can have briefing space between my trades so that's why i don't go for h4 in most cases but you can do so if let's say for instance we are using h4 here it means we will be having a double confirmation here anytime price come between this guy we look for a buy okay so we look for a buy this can be a position this can be another position a buy position two buy positions and then we write to what to the next level here you can see both the h6 let me change this color this so that we know we change this guy to um to brown all right so our h4 is in the brown color 
we have another h4 here so this anytime i have two zones close by like this i see them as very very strong key levels as you can see this flipped flipped again and then we have it you can see price returned at that particular h4 key level and it is close to this guy so that is kind of like double confirmation that that area is a very strong key point now if you come here you can see we have this and we have this now the reason why i'll go for this and not this is because it's very this guy is very close to the or the flip area here though this guy also have um this flip area over here i will not uh, concentrate much on it i would rather concentrate on this area of flips because this shows us more of a uh, more flip rejections than this guy okay just took that out once and that was all all right then we now want to go down to our lower time frame of 15 minutes so normally if i mark on h4 i end it there if i mark on h2 i end it there so either daily h6 h3 then you move to m15 or daily h4 uh, h2 or h1 then you move to your 15 minutes or your 5 minutes for entry now we can change back to candlesticks so now look at look at the most interesting thing look at how this guy here okay matches the body of the candle so you can just take your rectangle then you draw this so you can see i drew these kind of things a lot when when you come to this uh my chart you can see those brown areas are uh, zones that have marked this way so you see that's why i said when we have a double zone there we ought to be kind of um love that area so here you come then you draw your uh, area and as you can see you can see price came there reject and we are pushing down now if you come here these two guys all right are very close so most of the time you can go down to the 15 minutes but as i said i normally trade those zones that are close to price so as price comes down i'll be looking to trade from here and buy from here and i'll take my profit from here when price breaks this then i'll be looking to buy again to this guy or this guy all right guys i'm i'm, I'm showing you how to make uh your levels count but then i won't buy on this bigger time frame so i'll come down to m15 so here m15 give me areas that are suitable to actually pick my trades from so if i can change back to line chart and maybe put some uh, entry levels within the, those areas that you have you've marked so here for instance uh, if i was doing this and i come down to my 15 minutes my entry will just be over here on this line because i can see price turning one over there and it you can go um can scroll back backwards to see you can see price rejecting here here and here so that would have been my entry and you see price will go above a little you'll be in a little loss and then you start to see profit now when we come here my entry is going to be here all right my entry will be at this level and then when price gets here i'm gonna buy all right guys so this is how you make your um this is how you, you locate your key levels so you can see the distance between this you see as price broke this it retested and we continue selling as price broke this it retested and we continue buying that's why i said once you can see price broke this retested we continue selling so key levels are very important price breaks this we continue now i will show you guys some entry secret when uh we get the final part all right i'll show you guys some a uh, few entries uh, tricks when we get the final part how do i know maybe if after this break how do i know this guy 
what we continue to sell i'll show you some stuff in so so don't miss out guys don't miss out on our series okay very soon i'll be ending this particular video because all that i want you to know i've just said them right here and i've demonstrated them right here for you so the best thing for you to do is to watch this video over and over and over again that is all you need to do master these things master how to what to pick these levels in the market is very easy you can see if you take all my analysis here you can see you can see boom uh 500 i will, i always just look for those key levels you can see how price came from here right down to my zone just as I demonstrated and boom and the target we are still going we've not even gotten there yet and these things are on uh, the page my mentorship students are enjoying from this we are still the spike is still going how do I know these things I told them price is going towards going here yeah when we started I look out for this zone the zone didn't work out it's fair it's enough we, we lost this trade but then we we ought we saw this reversal okay we saw this swap zone okay once price broke what i was showing you over here that price breaks out you take the sell to continue it you put your stop loss above just minimize your risk guys this thing is about minimizing risk and maximizing profit if you understand the concept you see that always you minimize risk so the loss you would have made your if let's say price comes like the loss you would have made would be odd would be less but then when you take this the profit you would have made would be more just trade off key levels trade off key levels don't just be using indicators to to do all uh, your confirmations alone use the price action that's why i take my time to do this series guys don't miss out on these things learn it make it work out for you Please, if you like this video, leave me a like and don't forget, this is your boy Moses. So I see you in the next series. It's bye from now.